Sherry Ponsati's family has been waiting almost six years for this. Just uh, a very bubbly person, had a laugh that was contagious. Sherry Ponsati was just 33 years old when she was murdered in Gilbert in 2017. Her family says there's been a big hole in their lives ever since. She just was uh, one of a kind. Her father, Paul, said Sherry moved to Arizona because of her husband, Eric's job in 2017. Eric called 911, saying his wife slipped in the bathroom and hit her head. She was pronounced dead shortly after at a hospital. It's been the roughest, bumpiest road I ever had to go down. Um, um, it's an experience that we really can't put in words. It's, it's just horrible. The medical examiner said Sherry's injuries were too severe for a fall. She had rib and skull fractures plus spine and brain bruising. Investigators found enough evidence pointing to Eric. Several years later, her husband was convicted on second-degree murder. He was sentenced to 25 years in prison today. It's been a long time, and today was a very, very good day. Um, justice was served today. Paul says the judge stated 25 years may not be enough for this crime, but it is the maximum sentence. Paul says he thinks about his daughter multiple times a day. Today's sentencing brings closure to him and his family. Sherry, we miss you. We love you. Hopefully you're looking down and uh, happy with today. Hopefully uh, I view this as good justice for you. Hope you view the same. Now the county attorney said the investigation revealed multiple indications of staging and tampering with evidence. Sherry and Eric had two kids. They were adopted by family members and now live in Colorado. Sherry's father says he really still doesn't understand or know why his daughter was murdered. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, I'm Michael Raimondi for Arizona's Family.